Hey guys, it's Sarah and today I am going to show you how I get stickers off of my book covers. I had someone ask me recently if I could show how I do this um, because it's something that I've kind of recently discovered and I I said absolutely sure that's actually a great idea because I do get some questions about how to get stickers off of book covers without tearing up the covers or messing everything up. So I have three books here that I'm going to um, definitely take some stickers off of and then the one in the middle here I have just some gross stuff that I want to try to see if this will work. That'll be an experiment that I'll do at the end but the stickers for sure I know are going to work. Um, so I have my books, I have some paper towels. I just use regular, just paper towels. And this is what I use to get everything off. So this is called Goo Gone. It is something that I got at Hobby Lobby. It was $6.99. I got it up by the registers at Hobby Lobby. Um, you may be able to get this other places as well. I know you can get it on Amazon. So I'll leave an Amazon link down below if anything, just because, you know, that's something you can get online. Um, I believe that Walmart has this as well. I just don't know what area of the store it would be in. I would guess maybe craft supplies or something like that. Um, if anyone, if, if any of you guys know where you could get this in Walmart, just leave it down below as well for people. I just haven't personally looked for it in Walmart. I just got it at Hobby Lobby because I was there and I knew they had it. So um, definitely this is what I have been using to get stickers off and it works like a charm. It is just, it's perfect. So um, let's go ahead and get some of these stickers off. We'll start at uh, the bottom here. I'm going to do this one. Now this is a hardcover, so it's got the dust jacket and everything, um, but I do have a sticker back here that I haven't even tried to take off because I got this at Ollie's and these stickers do not come off well at all. I've tried to take quite a few of them off and I've had to use the Goo Gone. Uh, this is one that I've read already, so I haven't gone back to try to take off the sticker, but uh, we will go ahead and try now. As you can see, it's already ripping. Um, it's just one of those where it starts off fine and then... Um, it doesn't come off all the way. This is very sticky, as you can see. Like, I'm gonna, look. <laughs> it's very, very sticky. It definitely leaves a residue. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this off. Now the biggest trick for this is that you need to try to get as much of the paper sticker off as possible. If there's residue on, that's fine, but as much of the paper part as possible because if you try to use the Goo Gone on top of the sticker, the paper sticker, it's just gonna kind of dissolve the first layer, then you have to repeat it quite a few times. So just try to get as much of it off as possible. So the sticker here is coming off, but it's just it's definitely just leaving a big piece of residue behind. So that's what I'm gonna try to get off here. Um, okay, so the sticker is off, but there is a square of residue sitting on it that's just gonna get stuck to everything. It's gonna collect dust. It's gonna do all that gross stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Goo Gone on top of it. Now, the good thing about Goo Gone is that a teeny tiny bit goes so far, you guys. I'm gonna barely need to use any of this to get this off, and it's perfect. So I just kind of fold this, you know, because it is a liquid. So I just kind of make it a little bit thick and then uh, take off, maybe, <laughs> there we go. It's childproof, guys. Okay, so take off the cap and I just pour a teeny tiny bit, like so little, really truly. And then I'm gonna take this and just rub it over the area. I don't have to even apply too much pressure, just rub it. And then um, I kind of fold it again and just have a clean area here and just wipe off the rest of it because it does, it feels a little bit oily. Um, and then just wipe it all off. And it's perfect, you guys. Smooth, nothing is sticking. Look, it's just, it's absolutely perfect. It's like there was no sticker there. I'm rubbing, nothing's sticking, everything's great. It's perfection. <laughs> so um, yeah, completely gone. Like there was no sticker there at all in the first place. So that is just wonderful. So this one is good to go. Okay, let's try a paperback now. Um, I have this one that I got at Goodwill and it's got a sticker on here. It looks like someone had already tried to take it off and wasn't able to. So uh, let's see what we can do with this one. 
Uh, this looks like it might have been a Walmart sticker. Those are awful, too, to try to take off of the uh, covers. And see, look at that. It's just going to come off in layers like that. Okay, so I will try to get as much of this off again as possible. This one's probably going to take a little bit longer because it's just going to come off in little pieces. Um, it's a little easier to do if you have fingernails like me, <laughs> but, uh, you know, if, if my fingernails are shorter or whatever, it definitely takes longer. Um, I haven't tried any other tools to take off stickers at all, especially this way. You know, I'm sitting here just digging with my nails, which isn't the best thing for my nails. But um, if you guys have any tips on that, leave down below. If you guys use any like household tools or anything to get stickers off like this, uh, let us know down below too. And maybe someone can pick up a tip or trick from you guys as well. Um, just anything that could get just you know, trying to get all this stuff off because you do want to, again, you know, try to get as much of the paper off as possible before you use the Goo Gone. Uh, otherwise, you have to put it on like two or three times and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this off. So, um, you know, the Ollie stickers are really bad. The Walmart stickers can be pretty bad sometimes. Um, what kind of stickers do you guys, have you guys encountered like from certain stores? Like you have used bookstores that put really bad stickers on. Um, have you ever had any like big issues trying to get stickers off of your book covers that just won't come off very well? And I always wonder, especially if it's a bookstore, like why would you <laughs> deliberately put a sticker on there that's going to potentially ruin or rip the cover? That makes no sense to me. Um, Maybe they're just going for the cheaper ones, which are the ones that are not going to, you know, come off very well or whatever. Maybe they're just not even fully aware of it. I don't know. Okay, so I got most of the um, sticker, paper sticker off. So now I'm going to put, again, just a teeny tiny amount on my paper towel here. Teeny, teeny, tiny. And then I'm going to just rub over it. Okay, all right, and then kind of wipe off the excess. And this is really just the more you wipe it, the more away it goes, <laughs> if that makes sense. You just kind of wipe it off. And it's perfect, you guys, like really truly. I can see um, the indentation of where it was, and I could see that I was kind of digging with my nails. That's just because of the texture of the book, but it's not sticky at all. No more sticking, no more sticker, like gone. See, won't stick onto anything, it's perfect. So that's a paperback. Um, the paperbacks are a little bit, you know, like I said, it's just uh, the, depending on the thickness of the, um, cover and all that stuff, but it's, I've never had an issue. Okay. So this one's a little bit different. This one doesn't have the sticker on it, but it, okay. I got this at a thrift store and it's got some kind of something on it. I don't know what it is, but that's not supposed to be there. It's on the back as well. I don't know what it is. Um, it just seems like someone didn't take very good care of it. So I'm going to try to get this stuff off. And I, this is an experiment. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Um, 